The fact that J.J. Abrams came up with the idea of giving General Leia an overall story in Star Wars Episode 9 honestly really excites a lot of fans around the world for Carrie Fisher's return. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, I will say that it was very sad when we heard the news that Carrie Fisher left us just about two years ago. I think it was actually over two years ago at this point. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't get to see any of the press interviews for Carrie Fisher. She wasn't able to see the film. But what's so important about Star Wars Episode Nine is how this is going to be Carrie Fisher's final movie. And a lot of things are being done for the character of General Leia. Now, they're using unused footage from both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, which in my opinion is a great thing to do. Not only will they be doing that, but they will also be applying the revolutionary technology that will be used in Episode Nine, mixing that with the unused footage from The Force Awakens. Now, they will also be using the technique of rotoscoping, essentially cutting Leia out of the old scenes from The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, and putting her into new scenes for Episode 9 that serve the story. So looking at everything here, these past couple of weeks, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc one of which has all to do with General Leia, Maz Kanata, 3PO, and of course R2-D2 and Rey. Specifically a description of Leia on a world that appears to be a mixture between Tatooine, Endor, and Jakku. This may be the planet of Batu. Leia is dressed in a black outfit, almost like a robe. Leia is with Maz, R2, and C-3PO holding the Skywalker lightsaber and examining it. She begins to hold it in a Jedi-like stance and active the saber pointing it toward the city that looks to have been gone through battle. Though this does not indicate Leia is a Jedi, the stance is done in a more victorious way. Could be the sign of the defeat of the First Order. Leia's hairstyle here is down and tied a bit on top. The next goes over Rey in a black outfit behind her, resting her hand on Leia's shoulder. Now I gotta say one thing and one thing only is that if this does end up in the finalized version of the movie, this gives a lot of respect to the character of Leia and Luke Skywalker. Now we do know that Colin Trevorrow wanted to do something very special for these two characters, the siblings, right? The Skywalker twins. Now, what's so important about those two characters is how much of an influence they really had on a lot of the events that happened in the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy. Now, General Leia and her involvement in Episode 9 were not quite sure exactly how significant her role really will be, but to me, at least, igniting a lightsaber in a Star Wars movie would really shock a lot of fans around the world. Now, how would they actually be able to do this? Because as far as we know, in The Force Awakens, there were no, you know, footage, there was no footage of Carrie Fisher igniting a lightsaber. The only thing that I could really think about right now is if they rotoscoped some unused footage from The Force Awakens in which she is holding the Skywalker lightsaber. And I don't know if you guys remember, but if you guys go ahead and check out, I believe it was the first full trailer for The Force Awakens, where you do hear that voiceover of Mark Hamill as Luke, you know, saying, you know, the Force is strong with my family, I have it, my father has it, you have it too. I think that in that trailer, all right, we do see a set of footage of Leia holding the Skywalker lightsaber. Maybe there was more to it than just that, and they're gonna rotoscope her out and actually put her into this new environment and add in special effects of her igniting her brother's lightsaber. That to me would be absolutely beautiful. Now, apart from that, how could they actually have her with Rey, C-3PO, Maz Kanata, and all of these different characters. Now, it's possible that they could do some rear shots where it's a different actor and or extra playing the character of Leia only from a rear view, but then the front views of Leia are actually going to be Carrie Fisher holding the Skywalker lightsaber cut out of the old scene and put into a new scene that best serves episode nine, where she gets to activate a lightsaber for the very first time on the big screen. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that is something that I think would really make episode nine stand out from all of the other Star Wars films involving Leia. 
I mean, to think of her holding her brother's lightsaber and igniting it for the very first time, at least on screen to me, would very well be the best way to connect both Luke and Leia as the Skywalker twins and for her to respect her brother Luke. Now, who knows, maybe that could open up the possibilities or give us the idea of a nice open-ended ending that maybe she goes on the path to becoming a Jedi, even though that she is very old at that point in time. Maybe it just brings hope that she will actually lead the new generation of Jedi and tell everybody the legacy of Luke Skywalker, the stories of her brother, everything. And I think that could very well be the best way to really tell the legacy of Skywalker around the entire galaxy and just expand it and keep it alive. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.